Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Around the Blocks, the Beer Sports, whatever podcast. My name is Michael, the Hebrew Hammer Brown. Oh, God. I, what, what the hell are you wearing? Like, that's, in all honesty, that is the most important question of the night. We're joined by Lewis Brown, who very clearly, <laughs> like, what, what, like, what are you wearing? I can thank my beautiful bride for this new attire. I mean, you know, we had a really good segment about the Heath Bar last time. I had lots of people chime in from all over the, I'm going to say the world, because this show is is international and domestic. And um, she, she was good enough to, to get me this shirt. Okay, we're going to get to the, the Heath Bar in a second. Um, uh, it's an important time. It's an important time to let everybody know that Symbol is the stock market for sports, where you can buy and sell virtual shares of your favorite teams using real money. Each time your team wins, you earn a payout. If your team loses, you lose nothing. Symbol offers trading for NFL, NBA, and MLB with college football coming this fall. Visit Symbol.com today and use promo code HeathBar. No, I'm just kidding. It's B-S-W-P-O-D to earn a $10 deposit bonus on your first deposit. That's S-I-M-B-U-L-L dot C-O-M. All right, Dad. I, you ordered a Heath? Like you're, you're, that's so funny. That, no, that's my, my beautiful wife, your beautiful mother did that. So, Well, I mean, I would hope your bride is my mother, but that's besides uh, the point. Well, the, um, all of the tests aren't back yet, but okay. Yeah, that's 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 a fair statement. Um, <laughs> white shoes? What the hell with the shirt? Uh, let's see. Not this world. Thank you. I I have a question before we get started with tonight's show. You ever wonder why penguins look like they're wearing a tuxedo? I'll be honest. I've I've. It's never really crossed my mind. Maybe they're always getting ready to go out. <laughs> Where are they going? They live out. Well, then they're going in. Why? Okay. I mean, that's, that's fair. Uh, Austin says, I haven't seen a shirt like that since the revolution. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> I just like, you show up like, Hey, like, are you ready to do the show? And you pop in and you're wearing a shirt with a Heath bar on it. Like, that's fantastic. I feel like I need like an autograph poster of you, like a shirt, like you eating a Heath bar. Like I would be here for that. We can make that happen. You, you tell me where and when. I got a lot of stuff going on. Um, Sorry. Let's start off the show a little, with a little bit of sports because last show, I, I honestly feel like you and I were doing acid together because I have no <laughs> idea what the hell we talked about, what the hell went on. Like, it was just like a big, you know, like cloud, which is fine. I mean, I had a lot of fun. Um, Great time. Yeah. Um, let's start with a little Houston Astros. Yes, Austin, we're going to get to the Giga Mags. Good Giga. Yeah, um, maybe not, Austin. <laughs> Um, are you at all worried about yes. Houston Astros? I I guess what I, I'm having trouble. Tilt the camera down a little bit. Like I'm looking up your nose. Can you tilt it down a little bit? Yeah, it's much better. Thank you. No, no, you had it. There you go. What I'm having trouble with is I don't understand. Going to the bathroom? Well, at my age, I'm thrilled anytime I can go. I don't understand how we can go. Over 18 innings, scoreless against a crappy Seattle team. I mean, that wasn't innings. Randy Johnson and Felix Hernandez out there. That was, you know, like Mo Larry and Curly. So, yeah, we're not hitting. Uh, Alvarez needs to get out of the four spot. He's useless right now. And, you know, the only guy who's driving in runs is Jake Myers. How scary is that? It's not scary. I mean, I would, I would buy a Jake Myers, like, jersey T-shirt. I'm not buying like a full on jersey of Jake Myers. Like I would buy like a like a jersey t shirt. That's, that's nice of you. No, thank you. Um, you know who sucks is Dusty Baker. I hate Dusty Baker. <laughs> I, I know, honestly. Like, okay, let me ask you a question. If you fire Dusty Baker tomorrow, who would you hire? Brad Osmus. I would hire Brad Osmus too in five seconds. Uh, would you hire uh, Tony Eusebio? No. Can I interest you in an Adam Everett, perhaps? You may not. Can I interest you in a Morgan Ensberg? That's interesting. 
Would you hire Lance Berkman? Only if he surrounded himself with coaches who have a shit ton of experience. I, I don't yeah. think he's ready to take this on by himself. No, I don't think so either. Um, we had a very uh, healthy discussion on Facebook today. We're going to talk about what our people want us to talk about because we at Beer Sports Whatever are for the people, by the people, correct? There are people. That's what we do. Michael Hodson wants to know where you feel like the Astros stack up in the American League. Because I'm going to tell you right now, getting out of the American League is not going to be an easy feat. I'm going to tell you right now. In case you didn't know that already, you're going to have to go through, like, in no specific order. Tampa, the White Sox, Oakland, the Yankees. That is not going to be easy if you're the Astros. The Yankees are the only team that scares me right now. The White Sox with their pitching don't scare you? Come on. They're good. I mean, on, the White we, Sox are good. We swept them here. They took two out of three from us there. I mean, there's a decent shot if you go visit, you know, Chicago, you know, the White Sox stadium that you get stabbed after the game. But besides that, I mean, they're a good team. I mean, Chicago's well, a good team. They're a good team. When we're hitting, we have the best lineup in the American League. But our good days, like our good days are great. I give you that. But our bad days, I mean, could could scare the pajamas off an old man. Well, that that would be scary. I what mean, we- on that note, what do you wear to bed? Excuse me. <laughs> A smile. Oh, wow. Okay. You know what? Never mind. We're not going there. I don't want to know. I don't want. I don't care. I mean, if you look at the last two games, um, you know, we lost. For, you know, McCullers throws seven scoreless innings. We lose on a grand slam. And yesterday we lost uh, one to nothing. Um, Steve, Steve Gibo, Gibo is Gibo. right. Gibo. He's right. Tampa, and I, I said my joke, Tampa is no joke. Tampa is well coached. They play fundamental baseball. And they just, all they do is win. So, Yes. White Sox are legit. Yankees are just overjuiced trash with holes all over their lineup. Okay. Well, Austin clearly woke up today and decided to choose violence. So that is uh, certainly – no, but, like, the American League, like, it, I don't know what it is. And, and Austin's going to chew my head off for this. But like, baseball, like, I'm not in a – not in a baseball mood. Does that make sense? Like, well, with baseball, it's 100 – in 62 freaking games. Like, That's right. I don't get excited. I'm not in my 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 aura of baseball until like, the playoffs start. Like, get me to the playoffs. And I, like, obviously, I'm going to watch the Astros if it's on. But I'm not sitting over here and I'm not, you know, like, I'm juiced for the Dolphins. I'm juiced for football. I'm juiced for pumpkin spice lattes. I'm juiced for a lot of things. Here, it pops. But I'm not juiced for the Astros baseball yet. Like, I'm not there. That's because we're. That's because we're just playing. We're such a mediocre team right now. I mean, we'll win four in a row. We'll lose two out of three to Houston Baptist. You know, we'll come home. We'll pound some teams. Then we'll go on the road. What's the score of the football game? Looks like Minnesota is just about to score plus fourteen and a half, baby. Start the season off hot here at Beer Sports. Whatever, um, Pops. Let's get into just real quick. We look the Astros. The Astros are going to be fine. It's all going to come down to pitching – or not pitching. Will they hit? And I think they will. And Dusty Baker, just stay the hell out of the way. You know? Like, go back to the home, get a cup of pudding, and stay out of the way of the roster. Like, what's the uh, – Espada? The, the what kind coach? of pudding, though? When I go to the home, I hope they have, oh. like, tapioca pudding. I like tapioca pudding. Really? Like, yeah, that's what you want to talk about on Thursday at 9, 10? No, you were talking about Dusty Baker going to the home. He sucks. He's a horrible manager. He can't get out of his own way. Like, just make a spot of, you know, the coach. You know, you remember from Bad News Bears in the second one where they hire that guy that can't talk and they just <laughs> teach him, like, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Like, that's what Dusty Baker is, I feel like. He's an absolutely terrible manager. I'll, t- I'll tell you what they need to do. They're going to need to somehow figure out a way. Oh, look at Morales, a cup of pudding. Nice. Um, 
they're going to need to find a way to get Marwin Gonzalez in this lineup somewhere. Marwin Gonzalez does nothing but hit in the playoffs, okay? I know he got cut, but I'm telling you, they're going to need to find a home for him in that lineup. Whether I, I don't know where they'll play him, but that's my two cents. All right. Let's get to some uh, college football pick em for all of our listeners. If you would like to call your bookie, go ahead and do so now because we are about to pick nothing but winners. This season for football here on BSW, we are going to help you pick all of the winners, and we are going to keep track. What are you doing? Stop moving the camera. Move it up. All right. Jesus. Thank you. Uh, we are going to help you pick winners. We are going to keep track of our wins, and we're going to brag about it. If we're doing well, you're going to hear about it all week. Uh, North Carolina travels to Virginia Tech. Who wins that game? North Carolina. North Carolina wins. Uh, let me tell you, Steve. Look, Steve is our official New York Yankees correspondent, right? And when I say official, right, we're not going to pay him anything, right? We're going to give him a title and nothing else. But he's a good-looking guy, though. Look at that picture. He's very handsome. I, I, I find him to be a very handsome man. I'm, I'm... But do not come on BSW and start throwing around Marwin has sucked since 2017. Okay, none of that matters, okay? Yesterday's history, tomorrow's a mystery, today's a gift, so unwrap it, all right? Go ahead and get some of that in your life. Did you pick that up, Dad? Did you hear what I just said? You know what? I'm making a T-shirt out of that. That's what I'm wearing next time. Yeah, it's bad enough you got a Heath Bar T-shirt, which is pretty funny. Uh, all you. right, Michigan State travels to Northwestern. Who wins that game? Michigan State. Woo! Two road teams winning games so far. Number 19, Penn State travels to number 12, Wisconsin. I'm going with the badges. The badges. The badges. Right. We've got number one, Alabama roll that tide. Travels to the U. Miami well, they don't really game. travel to the U. They're playing on a neutral field, I think, in Atlanta. You know what I mean, though. Look, Miami is listed as a home team, so I'm going to call them the home team. I'm not going to say, well, neutral site Alabama team is going to play neutral site Miami. Okay. You're, you're taking Alabama. I am. All right. Roll tide. Roll. Number 17, Indiana travels to number 18, Iowa. Corn country. I'm going with the corn holers, man. The corn holers. Yes. Okay. Also known as the Hawkeyes. Okay. Uh, number 23, Louisiana Lafayette against the Texas Hook'em. We've been back for multiple years, Longhorns. Who do you have in this game and why? I'm taking Louisiana in the points. Ooh, you're taking Louisiana, but Texas is back. But Texas, your, your Texas Longhorns are back. Uh, do they know that? Well, no, that's why I'm asking you. Look at this. Mor Morales, there were no Heath bars at the checkout. Okay, but Morales, tell me which Kroger, and I'll get on that first thing in the morning, okay? Okay, yeah. You're Here's my fear is that this is going to be a duplicate of the Tom Herman is walking on water, his home debut at home, losing to Maryland. I, I think an entire new coaching staff, a new quarterback, a new system. Um, I think B. John Robinson's going to have to get the ball about 30 times. I think Texas will probably win, but I think eight and a half and Louisiana wins, Tech is a good who, bet. Who wins the game? I'm not doing points. Oh, Texas, but barely. The Raider Rash travels to the city of Houston to take on easily the college football team that has been screwed by the referees more than any other university in the entire country of the United States of America. Texas Tech and the Raider Rash travels to NRG Stadium to play the Houston Cougars, whose head coach definitely has a drinking problem and uh, can't coach his way out of a paper bag, Dana Holgerson. My heart says University of Houston. Okay, who are you picking? Eck. Wow. Well, that's a little rude. Uh, number <laughs> five, Georgia plays. Number three, Clemson. Who you got and why? Don't answer why, because you don't know any of the players on any of the other teams. So just who wins? Oh, like you do? I know everyone. Yeah, they got the, the guy. They got the guys. And Look, they... I got some guys, too. I'm going with <laughs> Clemson. It's home field. I'm going for the home field. What did, what did Bobby Boucher say to the girl? You played great today in the game, Bobby. Is there a girl you're seeing? Girls? 
I see a lot of girls. I see a lot of guys too. Oh, Bobby, you're a I, bad boy. <laughs> I think that's sexy. You ever been with a guy and a girl at the same time? Oh, plenty of times. The other night, I was with my mama and Mr. Coach Klein at the same time. You are a bad boy. I wish you were my boyfriend. Oh, thank you. But there's this girl, Vicky Valancourt. Great movie. All right. Thank you, John, John Candy. John, John Candy wasn't even in that movie. All oh, right. Who wins the game and why? Georgia or Clemson? Clemson. Uh, number 16, LSU travels to UCLA. I'm taking the Tigers. Taking the Tigers. Taking the little, little, they don't go all the way to UCLA. Eat them up, Tiger. Uh, Nevada and California. Why? Just pick the damn games. Why are you asking a stupid question? California. Why? <laughs> I like uh, saying California. BYU and Arizona. Where's the game? Arizona. BYU. Utah State or Washington State? Utah State is going to Washington. Washington State. Okay. Uh, Southern travels to Troy. Who do you have? Troy? Like <laughs> Troy Daniels? No, just the Troy University. Southern. That's an interesting pick. Why did you go with Southern? I Because I didn't go with Troy. <laughs> Syracuse or Ohio? This one is for Steve Jebo. Oh, I'm going with the Orange Men. Woo! Good pick. All right, so every week we will present Lewis's picks. My hope is, is that he gets most of them wrong so we can post the scores and we can make fun of his picks. And then you can go with the opposite. No, I'm just kidding, Dad. I'm honestly rooting for you. I'm going to place that. I'm going to place a nice $10 wager on one of your picks. I think it should be the California and Troy game. Wow. Okay. Um, did you hear the news today that the Houston Texans canceled practice so they could host a barbecue and a team bonding session? Yeah, I who I, I guess it was on 790 and they were poking what, fun at Cal McNair, Mr. Mr. Rib eating the ribs, you know? Like what are your what are your thoughts? Is my is my question because this is not to poke fun at the Texans, right? This doesn't matter who does this, right? It could be the Panthers. It could be the Dolphins. It could be whoever. They were talking about on 610 today, and here's a shock. 610 had their heads so far up the Texans' asses that, you know, they, they can't see straight. They're saying this is a good thing. These guys are being pressured, and they, they've been in training camp, and they could use a day off. The season hasn't even started yet. Like. Okay, so that's my first question. But my second question is, if you were the head coach and you had a team bonding session and cancel practice, what sort of activities would you plan for the, uh, the team bonding session? Lewis Brown is the head coach, which, by the way, you're about as qualified to be the Texans head coach as David Cully. So if you canceled the practice, what would you be doing at the team bonding session? We'd all go to Treasures. Wow. Okay. Uh, Dad, come on. That's a strip club. We're not doing that tonight. We're not going like, hey, we're canceling practice. Let's go to the let's go to Treasures. Uh, we have an unconfirmed report from Alex Brown. I was told David Cully held a drum session and they all sang Kumbaya. Uh, it's also an uh, uncooperated report that they were <laughs> passing out Heath bars for dessert. Uh, do you feel like possibly that they split up into different tables and we're playing Uno? Do you think that's a possibility? No, I just – I think – okay, also in seriousness, I think this team is under so much scrutiny right now. This team is – I'm an objective bystander because I'm, I, I don't care. But just if I was observing from afar, which I am, the um, – uh, Cam Newton, I was going to say Cam – the a stupid quarterback. Um, Davis Mills. Tyrod Taylor. No, the, the guy, Sean Watson. Deshaun Watson. Sean, who's, who is Sean Watson? Deshaun Watson. Okay. I think between the, Deshaun Watson, I think with a new head coach that has no business being a head coach, you know, they let J.J. walk away. I think, you know, most of the, the sports guys have the Texans getting the number one pick next year. Trust me. We, I've been in that situation with Miami many, many 
I know when my team is a laughing stock. It just um, this screams 2021 athlete to me. Like the fact that they have to do this, the season hasn't even started yet. Like I get it, you're tired, you're sore. This is your job. Like, you know what I mean? Like, what I would give, like, what if I text my employees tomorrow? Hey, by the way, guys, we've been working really hard. We're gonna take the day off. We're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to the nearest park. We're gonna do some meditation. I'm gonna bring, you know, skinless chicken breast. We're gonna have some macaroni salad. We're gonna take the day off. That sounds pretty good, actually. No, it doesn't. You don't even like macaroni. You don't even know what's in a macaroni salad. I, I guess macaroni. Um, it, I think what it represents, it's, it's the same thing when you hear these teams taking a day and they all go bowling or they go to the movie. It's, I think they're... But they're don't make sure. it a spectacle. Like they, they made it a spectacle. Like It became a spectacle. They're talking about it on Twitter. They're talking about it like... It's just a. It's not a. It's not a good look in my. Well, that's the only life. thing. Why does it have to become public? Right. Just tell everybody. Hey, you know, get ready for practice. You know what? We're gonna go bowling instead. All right. But it, but it became a thing, and now it's like, it's ten days until your first game. You have five wide receivers on your roster. One is a is a punt returner, right? Uh, Andre Roberts is listed as one of your five wide receivers. Anthony Miller has a separated shoulder. You have three healthy wide receivers. You have five running backs. Like, and this is not to bash on the Texans. This is news that we're discussing. But if I'm a, if I'm a fan, in all honesty, I am livid at the state of that team right now. I'm just livid. I'm pissed off. Oh, but if you're a fan, are you really livid? I mean, were you not expecting this? It's no, like the I it's like in Miami, Flores this first year where he gutted the team. He got rid of Tunzel. He got rid of Minka Fitzpatrick. He, he cut Rashad Jones. Everybody's wearing shirts, tank for Tua. We knew it was coming, just like the Rockets last year. We knew it was coming. So can the Texan fans really be livid right now? Uh, it appears. Oh, my God. We have breaking news to report on Beer Sports Whatever right now. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Holy mother of God. Five years after a potential match fizzle, the University of Houston and Big 12 Conference are on the verge of uniting after all. U of H has emerged as a leading contender to join a reconfigured 12-team Big 12 with a formal vote planned for next week. Two people with knowledge of the talk said Tuesday. Mother of God, it's happening. The University of Houston gets invited to the Big 12 after your university took a crap all over the old Big 12. I don't know if they took a crap. It was more like a constant drizzle. Holy hey. The Big 12 requires eight of its 10 members to approve candidates. A person with knowledge of the process at University of Houston would expect to receive a unanimous approval. We're going to the Big 12, baby! That's awesome. That is very cool. That's exciting. I don't don't care what anybody says. To get out of that crap division or that crap conference that's the American Athletic Conference. See, okay, and Austin says, who cares? You know, it's not – look – if my team could be like AM and go to the SEC and be the, the doormat for nearly every <laughs> other university in the SEC, I mean, I would absolutely do that. And, and we're going to talk about that AM thing. In a well, second. There's nothing Austin, wrong with fifth no, but I, Right, Austin. I, you know I love you more than life itself. I love Austin Barber like the second cousin twice removed at the family barbecue that we get to see once a year. No, I'm kidding. I mean, Austin's a brother, right? But we like to, we like to poke fun at AM. They poke, you, they poke fun at Texas. We poke fun at the Yankees. And then, after all of that, we announced that it's 9.25 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh, you still, still, sucks. still sucks. And the Houston Astros are and forever will be your 2017 World Series champion. Um, this is a good move for Houston. You have to make this move if you're the Houston Cougars. Oh, there's no question about it. I'll tell you, it's interesting because – I think with the the remaining teams that are left there, I think it's such an evenly matched conference, okay? And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what hurt U of H for many years, and you're going to think that I'm crazy, is that having a stadium that only seats 46,000 people 
The other teams wanted no part of it. But hold on. It seats 40, but they built it to be expandable to 60. They built it. They're, they're, the, okay. there, was a, there was a whole thing about that, that they built it for 40. Because, look, let's be honest. No one cares about going to watch Tulsa play football. I, I don't know how big a demographic I have in, in Tulsa, Oklahoma, <laughs> or in Alabama, you know, for UAB. You know, like, if, if I'm offending any of those people, I am truly sorry. No one cares about UAB football. No one cares about Tulsa. If you want to be honest, no one cares about Central Florida. Like, you had a couple nice years. You, you're undefeated, and you dressed up a couple cop cars to say you're a national champion. Like, you know who does that? Loser universities that aren't really a national champion, okay? No one cares about uh, – I think people care about Cincinnati to a certain extent. No one cares about a lion's share of the teams that U of H was playing. But if you're telling me that they now get to play Oklahoma State in football, TCU in football, Baylor in football, you're going to see the fan base show up. You're, and, I you think, simply are. and I think your recruiting is going to pick up too. Because now you can say you're a part of the Big 12. Is the Big 12 the same without Texas and OU? Absolutely not. Is it a step up from the American Athletic Conference? You bet your ass it is. Absolutely. This is, this is, this is good news. Look, I'm excited. I'm a little fired up right now. All right, you know what? Heath Bar is for everybody, okay? Um, in related news, it came out today. Uh, did you see the news about the uh, who won the 2021 NFL mascot of the year? Yes, Toro. Toro from our America's Houston Texans. What are your thoughts? Do you believe it was a uh, deserved award? Did you have anybody else that, in your eyes, was deserving of the reward, the award or no? Yeah, I like the dolphin guy. Yeah. Oh, my God. What's his name? Uh, dolphin uh, Danny. No, it's not. It's something else. It's like Dolphin or something, like with an F-I-N or something weird like that. It's, oh, Snowflake. It's not Snowflake. Is it Flip? Austin wants to know if it's Flipper. Yeah, if anybody else watching the show right now has an idea of who you would have voted for for the 2021 NFL mascot of the year, please let us know. Um. I will say this. I do want to talk a little University of Houston with you. Uh, do you feel like Dana Holgerson is the guy? Because I think he sucks. I just I think don't think he's a good coach. I think it's hard. To, until he gets some decent talent, I think it's hard to find out yeah. if he sucks or not. I mean, I don't care. I mean, he could be Don Chula, but if you got nobody to work with, it, it's not happening. I don't care what you say. Steve makes the best point of the night is that this is a big move for basketball because U of H look, let's face it, right? University of Houston is a basketball school. Five slam a jamma, you know, should have had a national title, whatever, right? That happened. Then they went to a football school where they had a really good run at football. I mean, a really good run with Sumlin and beating Oklahoma state, who was a top five uh, team at that time. Um, they go from or Bryles to someone. They had Kevin Cobb. They had Keenum, uh, Ed Oliver. You had all these different guys. They had a lot of success with Tom Herman and all, and all these guys. Right. University of Houston is a basketball school. They're, they, they're built on their basketball success. He, Steve is right. Sign me up for U of H Kansas, U of H Baylor, U of H Oklahoma State. I'll like, go see those games with you. I would go see those oh, games. Oh, 110%. And people will argue, I will argue, the University of Houston, even if they had Texas and OU, when you guys were, when the conference was down to 10, team, 10 schools, U of H gave the Big 12 more than what Kansas gave them. You know? Kansas gives them nothing. Well, I mean, it gives them basketball. Well, but they're, but, you know, I've argued about that. They're, they're, they give them nothing in football, they give them nothing in baseball. Right. You know, they can I guess they win corn growing every year, but you know, that's about it. Porn growing or corn? Corn. Oh, I thought you said porn. Well, no, 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 no. You've already made it to penthouse once. We don't need to do it again. <laughs> um, no, I mean, look, and, and we're gonna spend probably the you know the next five to ten minutes before we wrap the show up. This is huge for Houston. I mean, this is this is big news. This is very, very exciting. I think this is going to be better for them in basketball. I think Steve's right. I think this will benefit them more in basketball than in football. And now, going to the game on Saturday when we kick Texas Tech's ass, like, I'm excited. You know, I, this is 
this is cool, man. I mean, we've been waiting for this, if it's true. And it, this is all based on a report from uh, Joseph Duarte, who's the, the beat writer for the University of, or for the Chronicle covering the University of Houston. I'm sure we're going to see more news about this tomorrow, uh, but very, very cool way to go into uh, a holiday weekend. If this news is true, the well, university. And I agree. And I think going to the Bay 12. With as many alumni that you have living here in Houston from Baylor, from yep. TCU. Yep. I mean, that, that place will be rocking. Yeah, I totally agree. And I've always said, I, I canceled my season tickets because they want to charge me double what I was paying as a young alumni. I say, quite frankly, I love the University of Houston. I'm not paying double to go pl- watch Central Florida and Tulsa play football. And that's a hard pass. So, but if you're going to approach me now about season tickets, now I'm going to consider it. You know, if you want to charge me a little bit more for playing against these teams. Now, the big question is, is the Big 12 going to be a viable conference for years to come? Or is it in 2025? Is this a three-year move for Houston to put themselves in a bigger spotlight to show, you know, if there are super conferences made that Houston belongs in one of those super conferences. It's Either an audition. Way, it's an audition for you. Yeah. Look, but it's a smart audition. You know, I think to me, if they do go to the super conference model, they're gonna be, they're going to play. Houston can play with those bigger schools. They've shown it year in and year out. Whether it was what in 2009 when they beat Tech, they beat Oklahoma State that same year on a neutral field with Baker Mayfield. Uh, a couple years ago uh, at NRG Stadium, they beat Oklahoma. The game before, they, they beat, beat Florida, Florida State. Too. Beat Florida State on a neutral field. They beat the Louisville Cardinals inside of TDECU Stadium when they had uh, Lamar Jackson. Houston can play with anybody, especially in basketball. This is only going to make uh, – this move makes all the sense in the world for Houston. If, it's a great move. It's a great move. Man, this is exciting. Woo! Very excited. Heat bars for everybody. Pops, there I did a show before this. I'm a little tired, so we're going to go ahead and wrap the show up. Well, wait, we got a little – let's talk a little NFL ball before we go. Yeah, the Dolphins are going to win the Super Bowl. What else do you want to talk about? Okay, where do you think Cam Newton ends up? Ooh, Cameron Newton. Oh, man. Um, I don't know, man. I mean, there's talks of him coming to Houston if they can find a way to trade Watson, which I don't think they can. Um, You know a place that makes a lot of sense, I hate to say this, is probably Indianapolis. You know, Indianapolis has got, what, Ellinger and Jacob Eason that they can't really count on. You got Carson Wentz who can't really stay healthy. I think they make a lot of sense. Um, You know, Austin says, you know, Cam Newton is, is greater than Tyrod. I don't disagree with that, but I think at this point, and I mean, you're 10 days away from camp. I, I think Austin's wife is better than Tyrod. Can't talk about Austin's wife like that. Danielle's better than Tyrod. No, that's true. Uh, Cam to Dallas makes too much sense, but I don't think he will agree to be a, a backup. He's done. He might be done, dude. I mean, in all honesty, like he might just be done. I mean, he had a heck of a career. It's also hard to think about how – south that career went i mean it went south quick um i'll tell you another place that might make sense is washington uh with fitz magic at the helm but they also have the kid behind them that played last year i can't remember his name but he was decent in the playoffs last year yeah uh some white dude i hate to just classify him as some white dude but i'm pretty <laughs> sure he is just some white dude uh look i'll tell you about indianapolis you were talking about ellinger ellinger was having a great preseason yeah, he got hurt. until he got hurt for the next five to six weeks. But he'll be a backup. Ellinger will be a backup. He'll be like a Colt McCoy. He'll just travel around the league, you know. Who's winning the football game? Uh, 24-21 Ohio State. Pops, I love you more than life itself, but it's time to wrap the show up, baby. Go Cougs. Hey, this – oh, great. 31-21. Nice job, Minnesota. You suck. This has been another episode of – the Beer Sports Whatever podcast, which is proud to be presented on Around the Block platform. Make sure to follow Around the Block on Facebook and on Twitter. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at BSW Podcast underscore MB. For anybody listening to the show, we will be tailgating for the Houston Texas Tech game at my place on Saturday. If you would like a place to come have a beverage and possibly some Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets, 
and watch the Alabama-Miami game, hit me up. You know how to get a hold of me. Pops, have a great week. Enjoy Austin. Love to Bo. Love to Mo. Love to Mom. Love to Jay. Love to Mary Elizabeth. Every single person watching this show, it is an important time to let you know that it is 9.36. OU still sucks. And the Houston Astros are and forever will be your 2017 World Series champions. And until next time, go Cougs, baby! Big 12!